Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment Channel. On today's video, we're going to be building a two-part epoxy resin rotisserie stand. Stay tuned. Parts needed are a grill it up rotisserie and a foam flour block. Links to these are found in the description below. To get started, we slid the rotisserie motor into the mount and test fitted the mount to the base. We are using two of the four screws supplied with the kit. These screws have a Phillip head and a 3 8 nut. Next up, we bolted the mount to the base going from the back to the front and we finger tightened the nuts onto the bolts. Once you get both of them on, we use the wrench and the screwdriver to tighten them up and secure the mount to the base. Next, I took the collar and slid it onto the shaft as shown. I just tightened it up a little bit. Now this is not, we're not finished here. I slid the shaft into the motor. I took the meat fork here and slid it on the shaft as well. We're just doing this right here to actually get a spot to where we can actually cut it off. So I just took a Sharpie and marked it. After we mark your shaft, put it into a vise and cut it off. I just use basic hand tools here. Next, your meat shaft will not fit directly into your foam. So I took a set of pliers and bent the meat shaft down on all four prongs and slid it into the end of the foam. Now go ahead and just install this loosely like I have it right here. By doing this we are only going to get a measurement for the base. So I went ahead and put it together here and took out a measuring tape and marked it as about a 10 and a half 11 inches. So I went over and got a piece of one by six. So it's three quarter inches thick, five and a half inches wide. Marked it 10 and a half, 11 inches, and I cut it. Once you have your base cut, go ahead and slide your base of your mount back onto there. And I did this for one parent reason here. See how it is folded down to fit inside the meat rack of a grill. Next, I just took some small screws and I drilled out the base and I put the screws through the base into the wood. I then took the cup away from the foam, measured the foam and cut the foam down to size so the cup would fit perfectly. I just took the regular hand saw that we used earlier to cut the shaft to cut the foam. Now the cup fits perfectly. All right, as you can see here, the collar has too much movement this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and reverse the collar before we put the shaft through the collar into the motor. Once you have this installed here, you can tighten everything up. There's a little bit of play here. So between the mount and the base, I took a wire tie. I put one on both sides and you can just go ahead and cut off the ends. And we're done. All right guys, there it is. Tell me what you think. Please drop a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more great videos coming very soon. See y'all later.